if we don't learn how to dynamically stop disease of the earth and uh, become travelers of space, I guess, and maybe even turn earth into a spaceship, um, we won't be able to survive as a human species. And a lot of people are talking about how we probably can't do that anyway, but um, it's kind of like, is it reasonable to think that there's a such thing as immortality? Um, is that even reasonable? Um, Got to ask yourself these questions. Uh, you know, at least if you are concerned with science, um, is it possible for a mortality to exist for a human being? Um, if it was possible, I'd say there is a very slight, weak chance that it's possible. Depends on what this world does, how it engages in its own behavior and understanding, um, how we capacitate learning, how we see geometrical objects in motion, and how we learn how to measure the geometrical objects of everything in motion. Um, once we learn the geometrical objects in motion, <clears throat> the algorithms and the devices of physics that we will have to probably use artificial intelligence to predict, um, then maybe we could do this. But it's a, it's a Star Trek episode, probably. Um, Star Trek is where this all lies. Star Trek is like the IQ of all of what we do, what, what we're going to do. You know, we're going to use light to heal our bodies and x-rays basically and different particles and, um, we're going to do a lot of things. We just have to step up our geometrical understanding of what's really going on. First, we're going to make assumptions, and that's going to be erroneous. Then, we're also going to learn about doing things that are beyond our nature, which is called superphysics. And then we'll, we'll accomplish a lot more when we start getting into super physics. Thanks.